guys, we are here for week three of the Halo games. Uh, for right now, I am your host, Lemur. We have two teams today. We have PVCC versus against CGCC's Charlie team. So this will be another great game today to watch today as we have some newer people here who want to test out their might. And on top of that, we do have PVCC who had took the game off last week. So I uh, can't wait to start it here. For once, we have uh, doubles double slayer again for our first mode and then our first map will be aquarius for the day so let's see both both sides really strong teams to see if we can pull it off today all right let's see if these guys are ready all right let's get this game started once the other team lets me know they're ready Well, I think they are ready to go. So let's get this first game started. <laughs> oh my god. Jared, you are in game, sir. You shouldn't be in here. Other than that, good luck, you guys. So again, for this map, we do have, this used to be Active Camo, but now it is QT, the Quantum Translocator. On top of that, we have Slayer. some good, really good weapons that need to be in control of either team. You know, any sandbox in this map is really good. For example, we have Needles, which is a crazy in close combat. On top of that, we do have, uh, not Stalker Rifle, excuse me, we have Heat Wave, which is amazing shotgun. So we're going to start with the BOP of people to see, as Briggs and both of them contest that mid side. Jaren does see both of them, and the fight will break out against Jaren and these two. He nades, misses one, hits both of them as both converge on Jaren. Both sides low as Jaren is low. Briggs sitting there looking to help his team as they both take on Jaren. Both sides looking for each other as he does see him. He's on both sides blue as. Uh, with CGCC, CGCC is playing really together as Briggs is very low, next to almost one shot. He does get his shields up as both sides do get tagged. Kier's looking for Jaren as both sides hit each other. Jaren is one shot. He throws a punch. He will play here. Will he get the kill? He cracks his shields as he plays his life really well as Kier's comes up behind him trying to assist. Does overextend just a little bit and both are able to pick both of them off. Making this into a 3-1 lead in favor of PCC. Jaren does grab that translocator as they start controlling that mid site, but Griggs does have a really good play and he's playing their top base. I think another one that's very underrated in this map is that thrusters. So if they're able to control that thrusters, it does make getting 1v1s a little harder to kill. Both sides looking at each other. Briggs is currently holding. Jaren is hit quite a bit, but does use the translocation to get out of harm's way. Briggs does kill one. And Jaren picks off the double kill. Another fight will break out as Jaren does pick off one. Thing is, you gotta admit here, both Jaren and Griggs are playing really well together. Uh, Gertie and Code are still playing together, but I think they are getting slightly out VR'd. And like I said, these guys are newer to the Halo team. But they're very excited to be here. Both sides still looking for each other. The lead is currently 1 6 in favor of the CC. As Jaren sees and starts pumping shots at them, cracking one of their shields. Gertie and they're very behind. Another fight will break out. And he does use that translocator to save his life as Jaren comes from top, pick off one for the killing spree. He comes with a shoddy. This is two of them. But he, but Griggs does save his life. So right now we do have both of them trying to converge on each other towards that mid side. Mid is very crucial in this game. 
Echo throws nades towards that P2. As both sides get in a fight, misses the headshot and unfortunately is killed. Kyrus does crack his shield, misses the punch. Unfortunately, nades herself and does get hit with that shotgun. Briggs and Jan were both very low. Briggs and Jaren are still playing very, really good together, really conjoined at the hip, which is very crucial in these doubles games. Both sides, the fight will break out here. Briggs does pump a long shot into Jaren, which could make this fight a little bad on their end. But those nades are really well, and he does get picked off. Jaren comes in with a shoddy, missing the punch. Kyrus can do it. Unfortunately, he does, he does not get it. Such a close fight that could have been in favor of CGCC. The fight will break out. Brick does come under fire and is cracked shields as Kyrus comes behind. Dirty does kill him as Jaren is top mid and gets the killing frenzy. Again, Jaren with that thruster. Both sides with a thruster as Jaren is mid one shot, but his teammate might come in and save his life as Jaren is so close to dying. And they get him, getting rid of his killing frenzy. A fight will break out here. He breaks his shield. And can Gertie get it? She does get it. Good job on both ends there. Bringing the lead one kill closer. But unfortunately, the lead is still great. As both sides try to kill each other, cracking their shield top mid. Jaren is very low, using that QT. And gets his shield back up and is able to kill Code. As both of them trade down in mid side, back base. The lead is 6-16, six, six, bringing this a 10 kill lead. Both sides being really patient as they converge on each other. Code gets a great nade on him. But he's ready to get the kill. Oh, he does get the kill as Jaren does kill his teammate. And Jaren is able to pick him off. Both sides, like I said at the beginning of the game, controlling that mid side is crucial in this game. One thing I think I haven't seen is needles. You know, people are very underestimate the needles. Needles is a really really good close range weapon of course when i mean even if you can out br at each other it's very close but jaren coming with that shotgun oh comes up behind him gets one with a back smack as now code is in a very bad situation and he does have that shoddy and he's able to pick him off this lead is 720 in favor of as Gertie does fly and does kill Jaren with the punch. Uh, and Griggs does jump down and does kill her. Both of them back towards car one side as one does get named back to the shots and is killed. And Jaren picks off the other one. Jaren is really bringing it today with a 16 kills, three assists, and three deaths. Five minutes remaining. As Briggs does start getting tagged up from that. Uh, ooh. And Jaren's able to pick. As Code is able to kill Jaren. And the thrusters could help him in this fight. Ah. And, and with that, CGCC unfortunately loses, and PPC takes the first point, making this into a 1-0 lead with PPCC up and down. Alrighty, that was an amazing game, both sides. And with that, PPCC did dominate. Um, started really strong with CGCC getting the first kill, but then PPCC really bringing it back, bringing that lead exponentially higher every fight encounter.
but that Griggs and Jarrett do make a pretty good team. And uh, Code and Gertie do play together really well. And we actually have one leave. Did we have a crash? Um, other than that, we'll be right back until we finish these technical uh, glitches. And of course, his game did crash. So we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we are back again for another high octane Halo gameplay. Uh, right now we're currently sitting with a PVCC lead with 1-0 against CGCC's Charlie's team. Um, with that, our next game mode is King of the Hill and a map of live fire. So, um, we have both these teams did really good last game. We should see if they can pull it off. And let's see if CGCC can come back and get this dub. Alrighty you guys, we're going to start right here. We have both teams ready. Um, I think one thing that's key on this map is, I mean, I know it's King of the Hill. King of the Hill has its strong suits in Live Fire, but it's a lot harder to hold angles on King of the Hill with Live Fire. But if, if any team can try to find that momentum to hold angles and control King of the Hill, the Hill, it'll, it would most likely win them the point. 
um, with the, the main key weapons on this game, are they going to show it here in a second, are um, Sniper, of the Needles, again, Needles is on this map, uh, Sniper spawns it instantly, but 30, 30 seconds into the match, Overshield will spawn, which gives them twice the amount of shield count here. We have Plaza Pistol and Pistol that are really good on this map. Alright, we will start it here, as both sides, one, these uh, PPCC spawning mud as the other side spawns tower as they will contest for that sniper here. Both sides get tagged up. Gertie does get hit with that nade and will head towards that point as one is currently on C flat. Ooh, and he does get the snipe off. Great shot on his hand. Jaren does pick off one of them. And it's all into Gertie to get this kill here. And she does crack his shield, almost killing him. But Jaren does have that sniper. As we do have overshield up, I think PBC, uh, CGCC does need to get this overshield to get the fight. And he does get killed by his teammate on uh, accident. Gertie does put her guard down for a second and does get sniped by Jaren. And with that, we still have PVCC in control of that overshield. One thing that they can do to combat that overshield is to push that plasma pistol. Fight will break out here as Gertie does punch some shots. Misses, gets the punch. He's able to kill him. He misses the punch and is able to kill both of them. Enemy about to score. Alrighty, as one of spawns mud side, he does miss some shots. And does gets the kill though, as they get the first point, making this a 1-0 lead in favor of PVCC on King of the Hill. And again, I'm surprised no one's grabbing that plasma pistol. Instantly can crack shields. Oh, fight with Jaren does have that shoddy and is able to kill Gertie. Gets the punch off, and Grace is able to pick off the double, being able to get more time on the hill. We do have overshield up in seven. As Gertie does miss two of her bursts for the kill. The thing is, is can this can he can Code pull off the kill? He gets the punch, but he does pop the overshield. Misses the second punch, hits the third, and is able to kill Code with that overshield. As Griggs sits on his little pedestal over there, getting more time for PVCC. I will break up here as Griggs is here with and does I did not see that but gets the repulse off the map as both sides will have to rotate towards that A side and thing unfortunately here Code and Gertie are very split which makes it so much easier for Jaren and Griggs to pull off the kills Code is pushing up with that plasma pistol and does get his first shots in on this fight cracks his shields both sides about to converge on point as one does hit him with that big door nade as ah uh, unfortunately does get traded here as code kills one but Griggs just kills the other and now Griggs is now in control of that sniper once again Jaren does see him hits the first shot unfortunately misses the head but code does get the really good nade Griggs is under attack as Jaren does save his life fight another fight is Jaren unfortunately misses the snipe, but he's able to pick off Code. Enemy about to score. Most likely giving this a 0-3 lead in favor of PBCC. Jaren with that snipe controlling that uh, sandbags area is able to kill Gertie. Misses the snipe and gets the headshot with the no scope. Yes it is Pixel. Halo is very interesting. This is, I believe, the first uh, Maricopa League that we have here with Halo. <coughs> Fight will break out as Jaren gets tagged up and is killed by Gertie. He does get the he does get the overshield. Gets the second punch. And unfortunately he does kill them. And he does get that overshield here. Well, I was glad to have you here watching the Halo game today. He misses the snipe. Uh, can they kill him? Code really struggling. Unfortunately, gets the trade on Jaren as Greg does has that needles with 10 shots left. And they will cap the point, making this a 0-4 lead in favor of PVCC.
Um, great job on both ends, but again, PVCC with the sweep with two with a 0-4 lead, making this a 2-0 for the game for today. Alrighty, well, that, you know, again, Griggs and Jam were able to control those power weapons, the, the sniper, the overshield, um, really, really controlling the whole map with that. And uh, the hill was making it control the hill, being able to watch over hill and watching spawns and stuff like that. Um, other than that, great job on both ends. We're going to be switching uh, our, our, our game to Oddball. And um, again, we have Kyrs and Gertie being able to choose the map for Oddball. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, you guys, we are back for the third round of this game. So I think Code and Gertie need to really come back and win this game to bring this to another game. Uh, but other than that, hey, well, good games from both sides. So again, this one will be Oddball, King of the Hill. Oh, sorry, Oddball Recharge. Uh, actually, we actually forgot to switch one of the spawn things. One second, Let's fix this up. There we go. Alrighty. So again, we have Jaren against Gertie and Code for the third round with Oddball. I think the strong suits on this game would have to be controlling that active camo, controlling shock rifle, controlling the needles again, and, you know, pistol, um, repulsor, plasma pistol, 
any of those weapons will be crucial in this game. And if any team can control those again, it just makes it very hard to come back. Um, but other than that, angles is huge on recharge. Um, some places you don't really need it, but recharge is one that you really need it. Um, again, uh, the, with the ball is a little tricky because you got to know when to drop it to save your teammate. Or um, because at least in 4v4s, you're able to hold the ball the whole time while the other three defend. But in this one, because it is doubles, it's a lot harder. So you just got to know when to drop the ball, when it's a good time to pull back and help your teammate. Alrighty then. Well, other than that, we're going to start this game off today. As of Code and Gertie pushing that bottom side, we're going to be contesting that active camo as both push towards bottom gold. They know that active camo is strong here. They get the nades off and they're able, Griggs able to pick off one with a nade and Jaren's able to get that over active camo, excuse me. And the grapple shot and the shock rifle. Can Jaren get the shot here? He gets the shot, cracking the shield, missing the second one. Jaren is currently scoping, looking for, and he does have active camo, so he does have the ability to roam, and he gets the headshot, killing him instantly as we have Kier's backside towards C, as Griggs earns a lot more time on that ball. Uh, Gertie and Code really do need to push right now and to start giving them bop bop ball time. We should have one pushing from top gold and bottom gold simultaneously. Gets a nade, hitting some with his shield. Code is in danger right now. Griggs pumps some shots into Code, pulling back with the ball as Jaren picks off Gertie. Oh, he cracks his shield. All he needed was to get that headshot to pick off that kill. And Jaren is still alive, rocking three more shots in that shock rifle as Griggs is pushed up with that ball. And unfortunately, they are really far apart. And uh, Jaren is a little extended as he does see him being able to call it on his teammate. He hits the shot. And uh, Jaren is able to get the kill, but is able to crack his shields. But Gertie is not there in time as there's one top addict. Another fight will break out as Jaren starts pumping some shots into her and kills her. Code doesn't see him and he's shot from behind, but he does get the trade. It's all up on Gertie to get the kill, but she does get the active camo. But the thing is, is can they get, can the ball, can they get kill the ball before the time that limit is up? But they only need 10 more points on the board. Gertie does need to get their ASAP and start killing. They have four, three seconds left on it. Ah, oh, unfortunately, is able to get one point for PVCC, making this a 0-1. We are on to the last round of oddball as we do swap sides in this game. Incoming. Again, they really do need to control that mid side as both sides converge. One whirlpool as Griggs does kill one as Kyrus tunnels on the ball and is unfortunately is killed. And again, Jaren is able to control that active camo. And will he control that shocks? He does drop ball and again will grab the shock rifle. As both sides for both teammates converge on Griggs killing one and gets the double kill with a well-placed nade and two headshots. Lead is currently 114 in favor of PVCC. And yes, they do, but they do not want the beat from Griggs. And he's able to pick off Gertie and he is legit an inch away from dying. He legit needs someone to sneeze on him. As Code does get picked off by Jaren as Gertie does spawn in. I think one thing they can do right now is to start earning more time as both of their teammates are dead. Jaren misses the snipe, pushing for the other one, hits her in the stomach, and is able to get the kill off. Unfortunately, Code isn't there to pick off the kill just yet because his shield should be spawning up anytime soon. Both sides see each other as he's trying to push on the ball. Gets the punch, gets the back smack, and is able to get the kill on the ball. But they both need to converge on Jaren or start earning some time on that ball to come back. Enemy has the ball. This 230 lead is very, very in favor in PVCC. And PVCC does have. Oh, a fight will break out. And he sticks him! Getting the kill! 
Graves isn't there to pick off the kill, on, and he will be converging on Code. Unfortunately, that would have stuck him if he had the plasma grenade, but he throws a frag. Griggs able to get a good angle on Gertie, and Code coming out from A as he gets shots on him. Really trying to get Jaren off that active cam as Gertie does get some shots into Griggs as both trade two bursts. Enemy has the ball. Both sides trying to break ball break the, the stop Enemy that Jaren has, has right now as Grig grabs the ball and brings this lead even farther away. And then we have here, we have... Oh, Code does see the outline, misses the punch! As Gertie is picked off by Griggs. So again, we have Griggs holding ball and he does have 50 more seconds left on ball. Jaren is tagged up slightly as he has Disruptor getting a punch and gets the headshot on Code. As Grig is currently looking for Gertie as he does see her as it's taken two bursts. Griggs and Code really gotta start playing together and try to get these kills here. Misses the plasma and boy he does stick that one on Jaren. But Code, uh, excuse me, Code unfortunately is picked off by Griggs sliding down to get the kill. Griggs punched some shots into one of their... And as Jaren almost... Ooh, and Griggs gets the plasma kill. Both slides looking to try to get this kill as Code... Pushes down. Gertie does kill one as Jaren is on top of them pumping shots. As Jaren kills one, he misses the punch, misses the second punch, and Jaren's able to get the double kill. Enemy has the ball. Being able to control that ball, and I believe this will be game in favor of PVCC because they only have 10 seconds left on the clock to win. Oh, unfortunately, they do pump some nades into Jaren and start putting pressure on that ball. Gertie should have pushed up and it helped. Um, Code in that fight starting and gets punched and is unfortunately killed. They do drop ball. Ah, oh, he misses the nade, misses two nades, and is killed by Jaren. And this will be a game in favor of PVCC, making this a 3 0 lead in favor of PVCC, as PVCC probably will take. There we go. Another dub for PVCC, making this a 3-0 lead with PVCC, the victors of week three of this Halo game. Unfortunately, we only have time for one stream today because uh, we do have a reschedule for on the, on the board this, this this week. But other than that, both sides did really well trying to converge on that game. Um, again, we have CGCC unfortunately losing, but PVCC getting the dub. Um, other than that, we'll be switching streams here in a second for the next game of the um, next game of the weeks for our other game. Other than that, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. And again, um, we'll see you guys next week.